Morning drummers. Uh, this morning we're having a look at Seven Nation Army. Now this is one of the um, one of the uh, pieces that you can download and print off for free from the Drum Ninja website. Um, we're going to do a few from Drum Ninja um, in this next batch of videos I'm doing. Uh, but that's one to look at. Drum Ninja. That's drum and then N I N J A. Um, and you'll find you can get this sheet there, okay? Right, so Seven Nation Army, you know, white stripes tune. That one, I think we're all familiar with that. You hear it a lot these days. Okay, now then, there are four things you need to be able to do to play this tune. All right. The first one is this. We're just going to have the bass drum and the low tom playing together on every beat. So you just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you look on the chart, actually it is um, a cross and, and a, a circle at the bottom of the stave when this starts. Uh, and that's actually the hi-hat going up and down as well like that. One, two, three, four. That's optional. If you can do that, that's fine. You can you can do that as well. If you can't, then just leave it out for the time being. Um, you can maybe work it in again later on. Right. So that's number one. That's the first thing you're going to be able to do. The second thing is we're going to bring in the snare drum on beats two and four. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Okay, you're keeping the bass drum and the low tom going on every beat and the snare just drops in on two and four. All right. So that will take you, those two rhythms will take you through the verse and there's a kind of a, the second half of the verse is when the uh, snare drum comes in. Yeah? The first half is just like that and then the second half, that snare comes in on two and four. And that will take you all the way through the verse up to the bridge, right? Now on the bridge, what happens is this. You're gonna get your left hand up onto the crash cymbal, that's the easiest way to do it. And what you've gotta do is this, you've gotta crash on a first beat, and then you've got both hands together, left hand drops down onto the high tom, while the right hand keeps going on the low tom, and the bass drum keeps going. And we've got this for two bars, so we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that little bridge of two bars then takes us into the chorus. So that's the third thing you've got to be able to do. Yeah? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like that. When we get to the chorus, now it says crash symbols here. It says to do crashes all the way through the chorus. I'm not going to do crashes all the way here because you probably don't hear what I'm saying. So I'm just going to go on to the ride symbol. And I'll, I'll probably do it on the ride to start with. When you're more confident, move on to the crashes afterwards. Because you might lose the backing track if you're crashing all the time. Right, so on the ride symbol, and the rhythm on the chorus is a four bar pattern. And it goes like this. It goes... One, two, three... It's pretty much this all the way through. We've got the bass and the ride together. One. And then the ride and the snare together. Two. Alright. One, two, three, four. And when we get to the third bar though, it changes. The first two beats are the same. One, two. Well then we get what's called a broad triplet, which is three notes played over two beats. Right? Don't worry too much about that. Just think evenly, right? Or if you remember us doing galaxies on the uh, beginners, um, on the new drummers beginners um, program, uh, we could just say evenly there and it'll work. And what happens in that bar, the third bar? This is what happens. We go one, two, evenly. Now in the evenly, 
E and then R on the right symbol with a bass drum. E then lick. And lick is the right symbol on the snare. Okay? So do that again. We got one, two, E then lick. Like that. Okay. I'll just do this bit with the tune so you see how it fits. This is the classic riff of the tune, which goes. See the little E and Lee in there on the third bar, second half of the third bar. Okay, so you go through the chorus, which is eight bars, and at the end of the eight bars, you do uh, the crash and the toms again, like this. One, two. Sorry, should have put up the bass drum with that as well, do that again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then you stop there, or you stop playing. But there's another four bars um, where the music continues, and it's back to the opening riff, which I think is played on the bass guitar, the doom, 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 doom. Now then. When you get to the end of those four bars, there's some repeat dots. Now what happens in this tune, you pretty much go through the same pattern three times. At the moment, you've been through it once. When you get to that point, you've been through it once. You go back to the beginning of the second line. You can see the other repeat dots there. And you go through uh, the same pattern again, okay? But this time, when you get to the chorus, you don't just play eight bars, you play 16 bars, you play it twice through because there's a guitar solo in that chorus as well. It goes through the chorus as normal uh, the first time and then there's a guitar solo which takes another eight bars. You carry on, you do the toms coming out of the guitar solo, you get to the dots again, you go back to the start of line two again and then you come through the whole pattern again. You don't do the chorus twice, you just do it the once on the third time through. So just one uh, set of eight bars on the third time through. You don't do the crash and the toms coming out of the chorus because you're on the third time through now. And if you look at the bottom, you've got a first and second time bar that's what you do the first and second times you play it. And the third time bar, you've got, all you've got is this. You've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you crash and wait two bars and crash again. And that's it. And you've done it. All right. So just bear that in mind. It's three times through. The first two times you take one and two. And the third time you go to straight to number three which is the ending. Um, there are plenty of versions uh, on YouTube of this. Uh, like I say, if you want the notation, visit Drum Ninja. Um, if you want to play along, you can play along with the actual track, or you can even find drumless tracks as well. Maybe at first play along with the track with the drums on, and then find a drumless track so it's just you playing along with it. Okay, have fun with that. Bye now.